Have it your way. What is going on, guys? Welcome to Make Great Podcast. <laughs> Dude, I never know we're going to be on, man. I never know. That was perfect. That was perfect. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, that was perfect. Was that, was that on time? That was on time. Welcome to the podcast, guys. Today, we have a special, special treat for you guys. We have our guests coming in at 6.30. Saiga, she's going to come and do some tarot card reading. And of course, we have our co-host. <laughs> Peter, man, you want to say something? Co- co-host? You mean, what? I'm the co-host? What the fuck? The- <laughs> co-host, host. Oh, oh, shit, that's right, that's right, that's right. Oh man, I got I got demoted, guys. This is uh, this is news to me. I got demoted to co-host. Uh, it's your boy Peter Yang, man. You know you already know what it is. This is the Make It Rain podcast every Thursday, eight p.m. Central Time, six p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and we got your host, Frankie Yang. <laughs> I never win, never know when to say yes, and you know. Whatever, whatever, man. But we're going to throw that out. <laughs> <laughs> We've only been doing this for 23 weeks. We've only been doing this for 23 weeks. <laughs> but uh, great episode today. We have a special guest, a tarot card reader. Um, is that what she calls herself? A tarot card reader or like a sidekick or a uh, medium? Uh, what do they, what does she call herself? I don't know. That's a good question. Let's ask her when she, when she okay. gets on. Well, her name is Sega or Sega. I've been calling her Sega. Sega, right? That's what I'm assuming. Okay. So if, if you guys have any uh, any questions or even want to do a little reading yourself, uh, write down in the comments any questions you guys have. We're going to be reading uh, my future today. Yeah. And, and we're not doing Peter's because Peter's a chicken shit. Sucking around. He's chickening out. All right. Yeah. I like uh, I like the mystery. That's what it is. I'm, that's what I'm gonna call it. I like the mystery of life. We're not we're not gonna try to cheat life, right? That's uh, that's against the Bible. <laughs> we don't, we don't cheat life. <laughs> that's funny. But uh, so we're going live on the event page, and on the fan page, and in your personal uh, account um, and kick. So. Uh, hey, dude, you're not, you're not, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not pixelated, cuz I got that. I got that upgraded internet. You know, cost me an extra forty bucks, but damn, dude, it's it's crisp, dude. Like the streaming right now is crisp. Seven eight seven twenty p, right? Yeah, seven twenty p, man. So, hey, I need an upgrade too, man. Yeah. Hey, man, um, you you hit up that one chick, man. That. Indonesian chick, man, it might, it might happen. Uh, she might be in Washington right now, so you probably wanna, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> jiggle, low, cuz. Uh, <laughs> you're in your thirties now. Perfect time to jiggle low. Uh, but um. That gave me trouble, dude. All right, shout out to Ngaulian C. Uh, Ngau Luan C. Says hi. Oh, is that Peter? So, so Che Pun Can Come. That's that's Peter, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's Peter. Oh, nice. Never okay. I think it's Lao. Is it Lao? I think it's Lao. Uh, yeah, yeah. The homies on. Uh, let's see who else. Yo, where are you, where are you seeing these comments? Victor. Man? So when I go live, when I go live, actually, I actually see the comments too. So, but but when my com- my internet was slow and I was on the slow computer, all that shit would never load for me. So, Damn, man. I need to be in the same level. so we got Victor. Oh, Victor! Hey, what's up, dude? It's your boy Victor coming at you with another podcast. <laughs> Homie, Dude, he's always doing that shit. Dude. You guys are like, <laughs> are you looking the comments in the um, where? So, so, so they're they're talking in the event page, and on your personal page, Victor is on your personal, and then um, nobody on the fan page quite yet. But yeah, okay, I need to get on the, the event page. Oh man, oh, that was funny, Victor. 
Good. Uh, you might. I, I don't know. I was mocking that. <laughs> I remember that shit on the on poker nights. He was like, "Hey, what up, boys? It's Victor." <laughs> Another episode of this podcast. Oh shit, that's funny, bro. Goddamn. But uh, happy, happy to have everybody watching right now. And then uh, we're waiting for so the guests can come on later. I think we're just hyping everybody to get everybody ready. Uh, write down your questions in the comment section on asking this tarot card reader, you know, and you'll get a shout out. We're, sh- out, we're shouting, yes, shouting out everybody. But hey, man, what, what, what do you? Uh, oh, go, go ahead. Oh, uh, so I wanted to tell the story to Peter. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Last week, uh, but I, I was waiting for today to tell Peter and tell everyone about this. So, a long story short, man, I uh, decided to throw in three hundred dollars to help out um, this lady, right? Um. It was this this incident thing. I knew I was like, man, like I just have just enough for rent and to pay my bills. Losing three hundred dollars would be, you know, devastating. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Three hundred bucks. Yeah. Three hundred bucks. Yeah, I did. Uh, I think it was like that Friday. I think that Friday or that Thursday. I decided to give them the money out to that lady, and I like I was stressing because I knew how much I'm gonna get from like you know my upcoming week and I was like man I'm gonna be short to a hundred bucks I'm like damn so I started to pray man I was like um I was like ah it's just, just you know give me an opportunity to you know give me a like, few hundred bucks and then uh that afternoon dude I received a phone call uh when the homies say hey yo Frank uh I gotta I can't make it to this gig can oh. you uh cover for me I'm like cover for you like yeah, like what? Like, how much? How much is it? And he was like, "Man, I know it's not much, but it's it's three hundred dollars." Damn! I'm like, "Damn!" I'm like, three hundred dollars? Man, that's crazy!" Yeah, that's good, I'm man. Like, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll take it, dude. Yeah, let me let me just take that three hundred dollars, man. And um, it was crazy. It was just the exact amount that I asked for. Yeah, dude. There you go, man. And, um, there you go, dude. God's working, dude. Yeah, man. He That's works good. in beautiful ways. Yeah. And I was just so happy, dude. Like, it was just the day of, and homie just called me, like, literally, yo, can you work, man? Like, I need uh, I need it, man. I need you to come cover for me. That's awesome. Boom, man. man. I was like, dude, yeah. man. Just got to ask and be precise on what you ask for, and uh, you shall receive, man. And, yeah. You know, a lot of, a lot of that is... Uh, um, you know, I think a few episodes back you said, you know, uh, give your life to God. You know, what does that mean? I think that's that's part of it, what you just did there, you know, is that like you had faith in doing that good deed, like unselfishly good deed, you know, because that's what we're called to do as, as Christians. And, you know, you had faith. You are, you knowingly, oh, shit, I'm short. I'm going to be short if I give this, but I'm going to have faith in God and the Lord provides, you know. So I think that's real cool, man, that you got to witness that. Yeah. yeah. It was just um intuition, you know, it's just kinda of like, hey, I'm just gonna just do it. And yeah. like Yeah, like you said, let me just trusting God I like I just something dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm hurting. <laughs> you know I'm a, I'm a broke motherfucker, you know I'm hurting, but I'm also a good uh, person. I'm also a great person. So you're gonna do a good deed. That's awesome, dude. That's a great story. Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you. Uh, I'm glad you uh, shared that, man. Cool. Thanks, man. Um, I definitely wanted to share that. I shared it with uh, the homie uh, Jimmy, and he, he was. Yeah, it was, it was just exciting to, to hear. It. Cool. It was. Uh, it was pretty amazing, man. It was just. Uh, it wasn't like you know. I know sometimes God work, how He works is different. You know, it's it's not like right away instantly. Um, but this it was just kind of like, you know, I didn't. I just prayed about it and dropped it, and then phone call comes in the afternoon that's cool and it's, it was that pers- <sighs> that quick too man it's, it's amazing that's awesome it's really good oh, cool. um, how's your today? How, huh? how's uh, your how's week my week um, so I went to ML to uh, ML what's that well movement lifestyle I went to oh, okay lifestyle. oh yeah 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 that's right 
was just asking for an opportunity. I, I drove out and then I looked to my left. It says Movement Lifestyle. I was like, yo, I need to go in there. Yeah. So like, it just I was just kind of prepping the whole uh, week to uh, wait for the right time and um, prayed about it too. And went in there and I was like, hey, yo, I met, I met Sean, the owner. I was like, hey, Sean, man, like, you know, I'm a videographer. You just give give me a chance. I, he was like, "Oh shoot, they, we definitely we need a, a guy like you." So, uh, give me a contact, and we'll, we'll contact you soon. Uh, so yeah, so I went there uh, and talked to Sean. That was great. And then I signed up for yoga class today. Oh, nice. And That's good. I, dude, man, I, I forgot how much I miss and I love yoga, dude. Like it's so physically challenging that, that I love it. I feel so good after. Just kind of out from like technology. She, that's how. That's how I know you fuck good. <laughs> yeah. I apologize. You know, you know, I, you know, I apologize. Uh, the positions that we do in there, I always think about. I kind of think about that too. Okay. Oh yeah. Do you ever get like, you know, little wrecked from some of the movements? No, 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 no. Hey, like the girl, like. They did, uh, we did this one move where like your knees are like, your knees are spread out and you're basically stretching your hips, like yeah. doggy style wise, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then these girls are like flexible. You know, they're suffering because of me. Like, I'm, you know, hitting it on the back, and they're freaking suffering from this position, dude. <laughs> I don't know, man. It was a weird thought. It was, a, it was just a weird thought. It was just... That's funny. <sighs> And then maybe I shouldn't have, shouldn't have said that. I, well, I, I, I shouldn't have said what I said. It was, uh, it's not going to make the reels. <laughs> All right, we got more people coming in. Yeah, uh, Yang Chang saying, what's good today? What's the topic? Yang, we got uh, a tarot card reader. Um, she's going to be telling Frankie's future. Uh, we're going to ask, hey, man, what do you want to, what do you want to know about your future, man? Frankie? Uh, shit, um. Uh... You know what? You know, you know what? I am gonna bring up the Indonesian chick to see if <laughs> that's very specific. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay how, how about this? How about this? How about this? How about this? I'm not gonna tell her much and let her guess, right? Okay. On what I'm doing, right? See, see if she knew. See, see if the knows. see if the spirits tell her. Frankie's but fucking around. I am praying for a a new. You know, spirits. Uh, no, 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 no. That that sounds horrible. A new uh, uh, a girlfriend, I guess, uh, into my life. So hopefully, Indonesian chick says herself to me. You know. Maybe that's what uh, you should ask her. You should ask her if you know, uh, if you're gonna get married and have kids. In like in in like a couple of years. Just time frame. I think more specifically, right? The time frame of that. I think that'd be good. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm also gonna ask if the Indonesian chick could be uh, could be the one. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. Yeah, and it yeah, turns I, out I, she's gonna be like, "No, oh, dude. If if Sega said like, um, yeah, you know, there might some be something that happened, right? If it, if it's kind of like a lot of, I think it's gonna be a lot of beating around the bush with that with that question, because because she's not gonna know, and then because like. I think that 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 Indonesian chick is gonna be like a scammer. <laughs> so I don't know what's gonna happen, brother. I think I think as soon as that she is a scammer, they they're doing a great job. <laughs> they're doing a phenomenal job. Wow. They they committed uh -huh. to the whole profile. It's funny. Okay, so he said, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, yeah, no mongers because uh. I haven't gone to the New Year's yet, so once I go to the New Year's, I think I'll find a good mom girl. Uh, let's see. I think I want to ask about my uh, future finances too. Maybe that could be a thing, right? Your finances? And, uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, oh, okay. My career. Oh, oh. The ML. The ML thing. See, see, she knows. I think. I think. Um. So if I were to ask, I wouldn't ask anything too specific. I think uh, I would ask general stuff. 
I think specific is real good, honestly. Yeah, I mean, the more specific you are, I think that's going to be real good. But for me personally, you know, because I'm all about that mystery, I want to, you know, I want to know kind of like a period of time, the result for that period of time, right? And I'm just going to navigate to that time. That's why that's why I suggested, you know, are you going to ask to ask are you going to get married and have kids? And then and am I am I going to be a bum at 40 years old? I'm going to go oh. homeless by 40. Oh my. You, you think that's uh too rough or what? Am I going to die before 60? Is that? Oh, that's a good one too. That's a good one too. Yeah. That's scary. Honestly, I don't, I don't think I want to live till 68. What? You'd still be healthy and kicking around and stuff like that, man. You'd be good. Yeah, man, I'm just about there to be dust. Hey, man. 60, 60 is a good age, man. Especially, I mean, as long as you take care of yourself and you eat right, I think you'll be fine. I mean, your dad's almost 60, right? I think your dad... Your dad's in good shape. He looks good. His hair is still black too, man. So I think that's uh, what you got to look forward to, man. He looks good. He's moving. He's probably he's probably still fucking. I don't know. But. Come on, no man. <laughs> Damn. Now you give me. <laughs> Oh shit, that, that, dude! These are like you know shit that you need to know, man, to look forward to, you know. Because at the very least, right? At the very least, you'll you'll be your dad's physique, you know. Because he's healthy, you healthy. There you go, man. <sighs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show a picture of my pops, right? Okay. Yeah, why not? Oh, uh, that's not your dad. That's your sister and uh. Oh, okay. The hat, the hat, the hat threw me off. <laughs> the hat threw me off. It was very dark. Sorry. But yeah, man, he looks good, man. You know, he's on his own two feet. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, he's a pretty healthy man. Pretty, pretty healthy. Don't did, didn't you tell me that he lived on a farm or something like that? Yeah, he lives in the farm. See? He's always very active. Oh yeah, he man. Knows what he does. Good shit, man. All right, so Michael. Michael said, uh, "I think I don't know if Michael still lives in OKC, but uh, Michael said I'm I'm just getting back into it too, baby. Dancing is such good therapy in my in many ways." Michael, remember Michael? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Chat on Michael, man. How you been, brother? Okay. Oh man, Yang. Oh, is this is this the Yang from last week? Very chatty. Yeah, it's it's her. <laughs> Where's Satana, man? She's always on, dude. You said, uh, I think you got some slick pickup lines. <laughs> Frankie? Not a not a minute ago. <laughs> we were struggling. We was <laughs> Okay, and then All right, Yang, Yang said, at 60, you can still hit it from the back, Frankie. <laughs> 60 is still too young. You can even retire. You, uh, I think she meant you can't. Yeah, yeah. you can't even retire yet. Yeah. Man, yeah. Nowadays, you can't retire at 60, man. They're going to work till you. Bro, you can't retire when you're 70. If you got a 401k, you are fucked. But um, she said, uh, and then lastly, she said, feeling the shirts today, guys. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Yang. Appreciate it. So just a reminder, everybody that's watching, um, shoot your comment down below um, for Sega, Sega, uh, the tarot card reader. You know, ask you know, ask her the questions, right? Like, hey, um, how did you get into this? Or you know, what kind of cards do you use? And can anybody do it? You know, any any questions is uh, great questions. It gives us stuff to ask her. I am getting a little bit worried because she's not in the Discord yet. It's five minutes. Uh oh. I'm a little bit concerned. Uh oh. Just a tiny bit. Uh oh. 
just a tiny dude because usually um our speakers they usually will get a little bit early and be on it but uh you know she texted me she said hey i'll be there at 6 30. well you know bitches lie <laughs> bitches lie so we'll see so um we'll see and lots lots of hopes for for her hey, i got videos man sorry Hey, you, hey, hey, uh, you, uh, <laughs> Yang says she's on long time. Uh, you want to invite somebody last minute to be on? You want to give that a go? Last minute guess? If, okay, let's say this. 6.45. If she doesn't show up, Is she? Okay. then we can be another guess. Okay. Because we got, you know, give her some time. Maybe, maybe she's just downloading Discord right now, oh, and maybe just getting, in, you know. Well, you know if you you're know works. if you're if you're on time, you're late, dude. You know, if you're on time, you're late, man. Okay, uh, I'm my, my anxiety is, is is through the roof right now. I'm like, bang. It's all good, man. Let me let me uh, let me pull up a video. How about that? <laughs> let's uh, let's go. Let's do our little traditional. Segments, eh? Take it, take it easy, Frankie. Take it, calm, calm yourself, calm yourself. And, uh, we got shout this. Shout out to Jane Pindo for coming back. She's been back here the third time in a row. Like she's been awesome. We love you, Yang. Hmm. Okay, I got one. I she got needs, one. she needs a flag. She needs a flag on her name. I wish you can give all these flags out to you. Specific. Huh. Kind of cool. Alright, ready? Oh, we're doing it. For several days, I don't want to do shit. Let's go. I procrastinate like a motherfucker. Oh, is the volume not working? Yeah, it works. It works. Oh, I can't hear it. How come I can't hear it? Uh -huh. Oh. Uh, uh, here we go. Got that? You got he that? Is, he is a beast, man. That dude. That, that, that notebook that he has, man, that's, that's, I'm going to see that on eBay in, in, in a decade, and it's going to be like thousands and thousands of dollars, bro. That's hilarious. Shout out to David Cockett. David Cockett. <sighs> Almost 20 miles a day, dude. That's fucking crazy, dude. Man, he's got, he's got that much time? Like, an average 20 miles is like, how long is this thing? How long does it take to jog, jog 20 miles? That's like what? Uh, if you average, it's going to take you a week to, to, to run 20 miles. <laughs> okay. David Gong is not average, brother. You know what I'm saying? No. That is the thing. You have to work on the craft that is yourself. I remember him, um, his wife talking about him. He was like, yeah, she, he, all he does is he just does this. I'm like, damn. He's about it, man. He's about it. He's obsessed, you know. 
Did I show you? Did I show you? Uh, oh, Sega's here. Let's go. Wait, she, 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 she logged on. Oh, she joined. Yeah, perfect. Where? Uh, she should be. We about to start this. Alright, waiting room. She's not, she's not in the waiting room. She's uh she's probably figuring shit out. She should she know. Alright guys, we about to start this dog. We are about to start this tarot reading. Man, dude. Hey, Victor, thanks for the shout out, bro. He said he linked it on different TikTok lives. Yeah. Appreciate it, brother. My love. Vic is awesome, bro, man. Yeah, er earlier he said, uh, he said, uh, it's not to mock, you know, when we were kind of talking about him. He said, it's not to mock, it's to be a part of the podcast. I was like, much love, dude. Man, I you. All right, so everybody, <laughs> forgive you. everybody watching, you know, make sure you uh, comment down your questions for Sega. Um, she's a tarot card reader, you know, kind of like a psychic, right? That's what comes to my mind. She's kind of like a psychic. She talks to the spirits and stuff, you know. So mm -hmm. I'm a bit nervous now because, man, like the homie was like, if you do this, you might op open up some portals that you don't want. I'm like shit, dude. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pray about it because I prayed about it and uh, hopefully uh, things things goes goes well. Really Bro. think about it, man. It's like shamanism, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You you were <laughs> you're neck deep in shamanism before, you know, before being a Christian, you know. So it's kind of like mm. going back when we visit. You're right, you're right, you're right. I shouldn't be nervous, man. There you go. So, yeah, there she is. Okay, let me Let's bring her. Alright, guys, we got Saiga on the pod now. Oh, shoot. What's this one? Yeah, I. I, I don't get nervous, man. There it is. Oh, you, uh, it's gotta be on private, huh? No, I already, already uh, put it on. And private. There it is. Oh, this shit. Cool. Hi, guys. What's going on? Uh, your mic, your mic is on mute. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> hey, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Uh, is it possible if you uh turn your phone horizontal? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh no, I don't know if this tripod will let me. Yeah, if you if you can, don't 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 uh, don't don't stress about it. That's fine too. Okay, hold on. But if you can. Okay. <laughs> this isn't my tripod, and I don't know how to work it, but mm -hmm. it's it's giving. It needs to. It has to stay this way. It's all good. Okay, I'm sorry. Cool. <laughs> so welcome to the podcast. Glad you're. Uh, I'm I'm uh, I am the co-host, Peter Yang. Uh, me and Frankie been doing this, you know, for a very long time. Uh, but this specific podcast we've been doing for about 23 weeks. So, cool. uh, and then you are guest number. How many guests we had so far, Frankie? Uh, this is I think guest number three. I think. Oh, okay. Uh, but cool. home, Peter, Peter, they said they can't hear me on on the pod. Hello, hello, hello. Sorry, sorry. Just gonna test real quick. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, I'm on like a speaker or something. What? Uh, I was dating my ex, and she was um, she's Buddhist. And so weird. Uh, I was dating my ex, and she was um, and she's Buddhist. And she's so weird. She's sleeping next to me. And it was then again, it's almost three a.m. or something. Uh, I start hearing like a crack in the living room. 
somebody's walking me and then he goes to the living room. Uh, yeah. I start hearing like a crack in the living room. Like somebody's walking me and then he goes to the living room. Uh, yeah. I start hearing like a crack in the living room. Like somebody's walking me and then he goes to the living room. Uh, yeah. And I had one eye watching the TV. Head down. And all of a sudden, you see my girlfriend, ex girlfriend's uh, nightgown just move like this. And I was like, holy shit. Like, I started freaking out. I was like, wait, that didn't just happen. There's no way. So, I was like, wait, I was awake. Didn't just I had my one eye. And, and I saw that and I was like, oh, wait. I was like, no way, dude. And I called mm -hmm. him out. I was like, bitch, fucking do it again. Do it again. Do it again. And he did it again. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Did wow. it again. Yeah, dude. Um, and then I just, I, I freaked out. I think I think that's when I turned on the TV, actually. I forgot when I turned on the TV. But, like, mm -hmm. I remember, like, I think I was on the phone. After that, I was just on the phone. I was like, oh, no, dude. I'm just going to, yeah. like, wait till 6 a.m. Yeah, that was probably more, more scary what was that? I would have woke her up. I was like, you got to be up with me. There's something here. <laughs> you uh, didn't wake her up? No, I didn't wake up because I just threw out the whole week. Like, it's weird shit like that has been happening. Mm. Like, it was the one time where I was sitting, uh, I was in the dining room and I was in, on my computer and I thought that she was next to me. And I was like, oh, like, sorry, babe. And then she was in the uh, freaking bedroom. I was like, oh shit, who the fuck was just right here? It was, oh. it was freaking scary, dude. And wow. then she ended up calling, yeah, she ended up calling um, one of her, uh, like, you know, fortune tellers, her psychic. And then it turns out that, uh, so throughout the month, that month, we've been um, eating lemons from a tree in around the house. We were mm -hmm. making like tea with those lemons whole time and he was like he was like, hey have you been um you know using like anything is there a tree behind the house are you doing anything and we're like yeah there's a tree there's a lemon tree we've been using that lemon tree he's like yeah uh you just just return the lemon tree and just apologize so um after that we returned literally all the lemons and we just apologize and we just kind of like let it go uh and then yeah it kind of like calm down tame down after that that night that we kind of like, get the lemons back it was it was it was kind of weird man it was so weird it's crazy how like like the universe really shows us how everything is spiritual like there's so much and regardless of the um like spirituality i feel like it's energy so like you can have you can put the the titles and the different religions and stuff on it too that's fine but like at the root of it it's really just like it's it's energy, it's spirituality, it's connection, yeah. like it really is. I had an experience one time where I was getting my hair braided and the person that did my hair came to my house. And when I was like sitting in the kitchen and I can see my living room on my couch from where we're sitting. And I'm just yeah. like, I don't know, I'm like scrolling on my phone or looking at the TV or something. And then all of a sudden I just look at my couch and I feel someone sitting on my couch. Like I, I, I did not see anyone, I didn't hear anything, but I know someone is sitting right there. And it was like a good, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds or a minute that I felt them. And then I just kind of brushed it off. I was like, okay, I don't know what that's about. Later on that night, I go to sleep. I slip into sleep paralysis. And this woman, like this older woman, is like holding me while I'm sleeping. But I'm like, my head is like laying in her lap. And she's like rubbing my head, like comforting me in some way. And I was like, what is your name? And she told me. And she told me like very firm, like, something i can't remember to this day i cannot remember what her name was but well, she told me her name and then i woke up and then i never felt that energy again i don't know who she was i don't know if it was like maybe somebody on the spirit team of the lady that was doing my hair something but i always remember that like i know she was there and that's not the first time that that's happened to me so yeah that's um yeah that's something it wasn't uh, scary been... to me, though. It was comforting more than scary. Oh, really? I haven't had any scary experiences, personally. Like, bad mm -hmm. energies, I haven't had that experience. It's always been good. That's that's great. Um, you, you know what's funny? Like, everything... I like how you mentioned that because 
every energy that I have felt like I've always thought about. Oh man, like that's scary, dude. Like I don't want, I don't want it, I don't want it. Mm-hmm. But I, I think you know some energies. I, I'm pretty sure most of them are you know have good intentions, you know. And yeah. but I think as a human, you're just kind of oh my god, that's so abnormal. Like I don't pushing that away and just kind of running mm-hmm. away from that, you know. Yeah like scared of the concept so then assuming that the energy is right. negative but actually it's just like it can be a creepy interaction but that doesn't mean that the spirit is like trying to get you or something you know right you Hollywood, so, Hollywood, uh, Hollywood messed that up for me <laughs> all, this, all, the, all the, all the um, ghost, yeah, all the ghost movies and all that stuff <laughs> <laughs> yeah I understand that uh, yeah that's where I was until I realized that I really didn't have a choice because these things just happen so I'm like, yeah. I might as well know it. <laughs> That's pretty true. cool. I, like, I, I, really, I really like, uh, oh, go ahead, Frankie. Uh, there's a saying, they're like, um, like, it's not us humans experiencing spirituality. It's our spirit experiencing like hum- uh, human life. And yeah. I'm like, That's, That's so true. Yeah. That's facts. I love that. Uh, Peter? Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, I was going to say, um, I like I like what you mentioned, Sigga, when you said um like it's um yeah, I forgot. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> no, it's cool. That happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh there's, there's, something about, about, there's, there's something about like um you mentioned like like the the the, the positive energy and the negative energy type of feel. Mm-hmm. You know, I think um, you know, growing up in a Christian household, you know, we we were just kind of always taught that, you know, like like that 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 like whatever that is was was evil you know and then so um and then you know frankie comes from a uh you know a more traditional shaman background and then so you know we've always been taught that uh as christians you know that like those people you know they worship something else you know and and so that's where kind of like like my idea of you know these spiritual feelings you know um i mean i haven't encountered much other than you know sleep paralysis but 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 yeah. I really like that you know, like you mentioned that that negative or or positive energy you know, and, and so that that definitely reassures, you know, just kind of um, what I personally believe you know, like I'm I'm kind of neutral now you know I'm not I'm not quite Christian like it used to be but, but yeah. I I really like you know the the idea of trying to explore you know what we know and what we don't know you know and so there's that. I love that. Yeah. I also like I have a grandmother, a great grandmother, an aunt like that are have all crossed over and I know they're on my spirit team. So oh, I'm like very open to connecting with energies. But one thing about connecting with spirits and energies like the it, words are spells. So it's super important for me whenever I'm channeling or whatever, I start off like I'm calling in my highest and most divine mm-hmm. spiritual team members that have my greatest good at heart. So keeping it very clear, like any other energies are not welcome into this space I'm channeling here. So, but yeah, the, I don't, you know, I wasn't raised religious, but like my um, extended family, they were, all of my extended family is religious, but like my mom and dad specifically were not. So it was just kind of like, I've always really had the freedom to explore and ask questions and, you know, do whatever. So I think I kind of started off from that, that viewpoint of like, What's out there? You never know. I want to I want to explore it. Yeah, that's a lot about shamanism too. Like we worship our ancestors too. Like my my dad is always, you know, um praying to my grandma and uncles. So yeah. grandpa. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Uh Peter, are, are we good by any chance? Yes. The audio the audio's good. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right. Um I guess let's get right into it. Uh, before yeah, before we get into it, you want to check on your phone real quick? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. We're good. Sorry. We're good? Yeah, we're good. All right. We're okay. good, man. Kind of nervous, to be honest. I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> no, nervous. And, this, and this is not a direct message for anyone. This is a general message. There are people listening in live. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. There's, there's, okay. there's a few people. Okay, cool. So yeah, this is for this is a general message for everyone. All right. So everyone that is on this podcast right now, um, ancestors, spirit guides, angels, any loved ones that have crossed over the highest and most divine. 
channeling messages, the general messages. Okay. So <laughs> should I ask? Should I ask a question or is that is that how no. it No, it's going to be okay. general. So this is for everybody. We're okay. just going to see what comes up. Okay. So the okay. first card that came up is romance and connection. So this has something to, do, something to do with love for some folks. Is it, that's Frankie? <laughs> <laughs> we're just talking about hey, wait, hey, we were just talking about it. We were just talking about it. <laughs> Every episode. Then we, have, then we have the yes card that came out. This is one of my favorite cards in this deck because this is like a this is like positive energy, prosperity. Okay. So this is good energy around love. Intuition and download. So this is saying to pay attention to whoever this message is for. Pay attention to how you feel about the connection that you're in. Uh, some people may be in a space of like, uh, you know, that that healthy relationship that comes after the toxic one. It's kind of like that energy of should I, you know, like I see these things. Are these red flags or are they yellow? Are they green? Um, Spear is like pay attention to how you feel your intuition around people. Don't ignore red flags, but also acknowledge the green one. Mm, take notes, Frankie. So red, red flags are good. Noted. Red, no. no. <laughs> that's not oh, okay, okay. So that's, why, that's why his relationships in the past have not been working. <laughs> it's relatable. It's relatable. Okay. Oh, shit. You have forgiveness and understanding. Oh, nice. Okay. Mm. okay. So love, something, some type of goodness, good energy here. Pay attention to intuition, but there may be, this goes back to saying that that healthy one after the toxic one. So there's like a, a like internal healing that needs to take place so that you're not bringing old baggage or old like negative expectations from past situations into something new that could actually be pretty good. That's awesome. We have sacred contracts. Um, this is Taurus energy, earth sign energy. Um, this is talking about not forgetting about the promises that we make to ourselves. So this is like, you know, that childhood dream. What did you say you wanted to be when you when you grow up, when you were a child? And what are your passions? What What is your passion? How has that passion changed over time? How have you been feeding into that passion? Uh, it could even be something like, I've always wanted to live in this city or in this country. Like not forgetting what you what you want for yourself. New beginnings. Mm. Sorry, I, I go kind of fast also. So if you need me to slow down, I'm sorry, we can, we can always uh, edit this. <laughs> okay. okay. New beginnings. Yeah, new beginnings. Oh, I like that okay, one. So oh. A turning point. Oh, that one too. All right, all right. All turning right. point in some area. Ooh, and then you have no more hiding. So this is like a talent or a gift or something that someone has that they're oh. uh, like, it's there, but. It's like that concept of being in a nine to five when you really want to be doing this other thing and being afraid to shine your light within this other thing because you're stuck in these up. It's like allowing yourself to be you going back to that, that promise to yourself. What is that thing that you've always wanted to do? And then you have sensitivity. Mm -hmm. So someone is holding themselves back from following a dream because they are afraid of what other people are going to think or questioning whether or not they have the ability to do it. It's like, Fear and emotions getting in the way of like fulfilling something. Damn, they they speaking today. They speaking today, hey, dude. <laughs> man, it's, it's real personal, hard, man. man. Real personal. <laughs> they've been they've been watching Ooh. they've been watching this podcast. That's why, man. They know too much. That's why. They know she too knows much. too much. I know too much. You have courage. Reach for the stars, and then receive. Accept the gift. Oh, that's cool. Man. So, mm -hmm. um. Your your our talents, our gifts, our uh, passions, whatever whatever we're good at, these are gifts from spirit. This is something that we've been given because we are meant to do something with it. We're meant to, um, uh, you know, spark change in the world, uh, bring love to others, shine a light so that others can find their light. So spirit is saying, like, go for this thing because it's bigger than you. It's bigger than the moment. It's bigger than just like it's bigger than whether or not you're going to be making the money you want to make or living the lifestyle you want to live. Um, all of those things will come with you following your passion and the gift that has been given to you by your spirit team. I'm going to pull up two more cards. And then we'll 
I'll put two more two more cards and then I'll pull like a final wisdom. Like, mm-hmm. Go ahead. You you you've been uh, switching decks. Is it does that? Yeah, I have like, the final decks? that I okay. use mm-hmm. wisdom. Noticed, yeah, okay. usually when I give a general reading, it's it lasts about fifteen to twenty minutes. But I'm giving like a quick a quick thing right now. Okay. And I switch so between. Wisdom- uh, yeah, wisdom. Let your light shine. Um, someone out there, whoever this is for, like you know more than you think you know. You can accomplish more than you think you can. It's like you, you've had experiences already. Some not so good, some beautiful, but all of those experiences are crystallizing into wisdom that needs to be shared, needs to be used, and will be the very thing that makes you successful in what it is that you're trying to do. So this this questioning that's coming out. I don't know how it's related to love because the love messages came out first and this is all like one message. It could be for, for different people, but. Oh man. Hmm. Interesting. And then secrets, let the cat out the bag. And we have mm. the, the no more hiding card. Too. Yeah. Yeah. When we talk some people may have a talent that like maybe only your closest friends and a, a, a few family members truly know about. So. Mm. Pay attention to that. And then spirit, what is the main takeaway here? The main message. We need to go in. This one card. Okay. That was a few cards. There we go. The main message is the direction guardian, choose your path. Choose your path. So you are at a crossroads. Oh, this is you making a decision based off of using, if you see this in the middle of this card, there's a compass there. Um, your yeah. internal compass is going to be your emotional guidance system. So how you feel, that is what is leading you in the direction, not your brain. Our brains are in the physical form. Our spirits are connected with the spiritual realm. That's how we get our messages. And that's where our intuition lies. That's what has to be followed. Oh, someone needs to follow a dream. It sounds like yeah. I'm quitting my job tomorrow. That's it. <laughs> you convinced me. <laughs> that was the message I, I needed know. to hear. <laughs> like, Fuck you. I'm not coming in. I got better things to do. Please use discernment. Please. <laughs> That's the message, man. You need to. You need to. Get yourself oh, I am somebody not that loves you. Not I'm not responsible me. for poor choices. <laughs> no, <Nope>. use the term. Ah, man, I I, I really like that. I, I enjoy that, Sega. I, that was you know uh, very comforting. If if anything, I think uh, I mean your your vibe, but not just your vibe, but I think the the whole concept of what was going on there. I think that was real good. I think uh, I enjoyed that. Yeah. Yay! I'm glad. I'm glad. Sounds like uh, you need to come out of the closet, Frankie. That's what it sounds like. Is that what it was? <laughs> hey, man, I've been thinking about it lately, too. <laughs> when is the right time? Uh, I think I think a lot of it resonated with me, man. It was it was kind of weird because, like, um, I liked how you mentioned the the romance card that popped up first. Cause, that was, like, yeah, that was it the first is, one. I was like, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think there's something that it is subconsciously in my mind that, you know, I, I mean, Peter, we talk about it on the podcast all the time and, you know, but the, some, some, some girls, but we never really cared about it, but it's always been in, in the, in the back of our heads. Oh, yeah, at least we, my we head, definitely, right? we definitely talk about it after the show. You know, yeah. you, you definitely share some stuff <laughs> after the show. And I was uh, like, when, when that first card came out, I was like, this guy, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, and then and then and a lot of cars kind of, you know, went to like you know, the career path or you know chasing that dream and and, and uh, kind of letting go from the nine to five. So for the past two months, you know, Peter knows this too. I've been um, slowly doing part time on my nine to five, and just uh, focusing more on my craft. So I recently just uh, dropped a business, um, like a couple weeks ago, and that was a huge decision. To fully only focus on uh, what I wanted to do, which is you know my, my passion, you know, and like it, it's crazy how 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 much I can resonate with with the cards that that you pulled out, and like even the whole romantic one is just kind of like oh man, it is there, 
but I'm focused on you know my my career and I want to mm-hmm. do that and switching it and, and messages are telling me you should focus on on your career and not like you know stick on a nine to five. You know, I'm quitting yeah. my job next month. <laughs> Like I said, use discernment. Use, use discernment. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> no, but it, it it sounds like it's it's a line. That's crazy. I guess maybe I picked up on your energy pretty strongly because we've been talking a lot for the last thirty minutes. So a lot of the messages could have been for you, but yeah. I think um, you know that that kind of felt like kind of like a therapy session, honestly. Like mm-hmm. like um, I, I'm sure you know that's probably what it would feel like if it was tailored to you know, specifically, you know, somebody, but you, you know, you said that this was going to be a general thing, but I think some of those hit Frankie and then some of those hit probably the audience. Um, yeah. but it felt like a therapy session. Oh. It's interesting that you say that because, um, I have my master's in social work and I'm trained in therapy. I was a therapist for a short okay. time and I bring a lot of those like like some of the the wording and you know the 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 certain messages and how they're delivered, I bring that into my readings, especially my one on one readings. Like this is more general, but if this were one on one, I would be able to pick up on some more like specific things and really help. And I also bring that into my one on one coaching that I offer. So I'm glad that I'm glad it felt that way. That's awesome. Thanks. So do you um do you teach this like often or do you? You said, do I teach this? Yeah, yeah in person or like you know on video call like this often um i get i don't teach like how to read oracle but i give readings often yeah like daily it's my full time i quit my nine to five in june to do this full time so this is my daily yep that's that's cool so what do you what do you read like like what do you give your clients and like how does it go like what's the process yeah, so I have 15, 30, and 45 minute options. My 15 minute readings, mm. it's all general, so it's no direct questions. It's just all a 15 minute general reading. 30 minutes, um, I do like a 15 to 20 minute general, and then at the end, we dive deeper. Like if there's anything that came out people have questions about, or if people come prepared with a question, we'll do that. And then my 45 minute options, we do it all. We do the, uh, the general, we start off with the general reading. And I like to do the general reading first because it's easier for me to read for people when I don't have any information about them, like mm. zero. We just jump straight into the general and then they ask their questions. I answer some of their other questions. And sometimes we go into like a ancestor specific reading or we'll do um, like messages from the future self, messages from the higher self. Some people have like a, a, a parent or a grandparent that crossed over and they're like, I want messages directly from them. And we do that too. And I surprise myself still sometimes. I'm like, did, did this person have this? Or like, was this person, did this person do this for a living? Is something about jewelry? Like I, I can pick up on those things and it always surprises me, honestly. That's pretty Still. cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Would you consider yourself as a medium? No. I mean, I I take this stuff very seriously and I don't want to take on any labels that I don't fully feel comfortable taking on. So mm. I don't really say a medium. I say an intuitive channeler. Mm. Intuitive channeler. Yeah, which I guess can kind of be the same thing, but not really. I don't know. I'm still kind of finding my space in it. That's yeah. that's so cool. Yeah. Um, so where can people find you on Instagram or on your social? Yeah. You can find me on Instagram um, or TikTok at Siga S Y G G A A A. Um, and there you can find a link in my bio to book a personal reading with me or a book a spiritual coaching session. Um, I'm also doing a spiritual transformation retreat in Costa Rica in May of next year. So May 2nd through the 7th, we want to Costa Rica. We're doing deep spiritual healing. Um, there's going to be Oracle readings. We're doing shadow work, journaling, a lot of stuff together on top of, um, we're going to be volcano hiking. Uh, we have a spa day. This is all included in the one price. So what's, what's I, the one price? Uh, it the is, price? it's 2,500 for the five day trip. Okay. And that's like with flights and everything, or is it? Flight is the only thing that's not included. So this okay, is so. the day. This is all of the excursions. Um, we're doing a volcano hike. We're doing the spa day. We're doing um, this included with like a reading. And we're also doing a guided shrooms trip. Um, there's more. Okay. Why can't I, there's something else? Oh, we're doing a horseback ride through like the 
scenic trails of Costa Rica to a waterfall and like spending the yeah. whole day there. It's going to be great. It's going to be a great time. That sounds so amazing. Have, yeah. Yeah. Um, have you thought about doing uh, ayahuasca? I have thought about it. I've oh, never done shit. it. I've thought about it. I'm a little scared to do it. Honestly, like the experiences that I've heard about, I'm yeah. like, why are people throwing up? Why is it painful? Like, I don't know. I'm like, I might just stick to shrooms. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so like, can, can I tell you my experience? I, yeah. didn't, I didn't do ayahuasca. I did DMT myself. So I was, um, this is, you know, okay. So um, I was really prepared. And then um, the guy, the guy that I bought it from, he was like, once you hit it, you had to hit it the, the, the third time, then you'll be in it. And I'm like, in it, what? In what? And like, yeah, he like, just hit it three, the third time. You get, you get in it. And I was like, all right, whatever. So, um, so second time when I hit it, and uh, the light starts to get really blurry, and I was like, okay, I think this is it. The third time when I did hit it, and it felt like a video game. Like I just went into this room, and like my spirit just kind of lifted, and I was just like, whoa! I just like maybe like. Mm -hmm maybe like three feet away from my body and i see my body i'm like oh whoa what's up frankie and so wow. what it really did for me i remember writing some notes down i just kept on writing down like time don't exist time don't exist and um i remember um following this this spirit it was kind of like he, it's like a really ugly sunflower seed kid he's hey mm -hmm. man so uh, i was all right cool so i followed him and he, he showed me all my trauma that I've like I've always like had in the back of my mind. Like he opened up like these trauma. Like hey, you remember when this happened? Like yeah, don't worry about it. It's it's nothing. So uh, man, it opened up so many doors for me that like really like healed a lot that I didn't know that needed to be healed. And wow. um, yeah, it was so spiritual. And I tried to go back in it again, and I just I just couldn't get back in there for some reason. Um, mm -hmm. was, yeah, you're not uh, you're not traumatized anymore, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a lot of things that, that he showed me, like was the things that stopped me from be becoming better or even great. You know, like he showed me a lot of trauma that I had that I didn't know. Um, I I just and I wouldn't share it to, to the public, but um, it was it was like childhood trauma stuff, and um, I'm grateful, man. I want to do ayahuasca one day, and uh, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, definitely want to travel to like South America or like uh, you know Southeast Asia to do ayahuasca and, and get back in that room and see what happens. Yeah. I want to try. I want to try. How long is the DMT trip? Like, how long does it last? Uh, Fifteen minutes, but it felt like a lifetime. I felt like I was in there forever, wow. and then it came out. It was only fifteen minutes. I was like, whoa! And when you come out of it, are you just like immediately sober? It's like uh, it was slowly getting back into it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But then we, when you know you're back in your 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 soul is back in your body, you're just kind of okay. I'm moving normally. I remember my 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 soul just like lecturing me, like, "Hey, motherfucker! Like, you know what you should be doing? Like, this is what needs to be done, and this is what what needs to be done. This is the door. Just do it." You know, I'm like, okay, cool, cool. And like everything that he, he's been telling me is just kind of like my potential, you know, and um, mm -hmm. there's a lot of work that, that I need to do for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't we all? It was, it, it was a cool experience, man. I definitely recommend it to anybody that's like that's spiritual, man. Like it's it's going to answer a lot of um, a lot of questions for you guys. Yeah. I'm going to give it a try eventually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell yeah. me how your experience goes. You know, definitely, we'll, we'll get you back in here next time when you uh, when you try it out, and definitely want to know uh, your experience. Yeah, yeah, okay. Or we can do it live. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> uh, cool man. Uh, well, Sega, uh, it was great having you. Uh, thank you for sharing your your love and, and your your spirit with us. Uh, yeah. I had a great time. It, it's it's yeah. been great. Um, thank you thanks for having me that's real good we really appreciate it. hopefully you stay in, in the discord uh we, we have lots of cool stuff in the discord that's always going on so cool cool you have uh so thank before before we take off you have any uh last word uh sega 
Um, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. Uh, on YouTube, I'm the Earthly Spirit. The Earthly Spirit Guide. T H E E. Um, and yeah, I hope to see some people on my trip. We're gonna have a great time. I have like ten spots left before it's booked up. And yeah, it was great being here with y'all. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Thanks, Iger. Really appreciate you. Appreciate Thank you. See ya. Bye. Dang, that, that was, was good, good dude. dude. Dude, that was Sheesh. good. Dude. Definitely open. Um, you definitely open some portals, man. You know, you about to get some romance. You about to get some. Oh, it was time to get out of the closet. Uh, <laughs> that's that's a couple of things I thought about. I was like, wait, is 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 Peter gonna come out today? Or <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Those cards, those cards. They know too much. They know too much. Uh, let the cat out, <laughs> man. Let the cat out, dude. Come, let it out the closet, oh, man. Oh shit, dog. I'm just like, man. I was stressing, dude. I was like, ooh, man, a little, a little anxious, man. You getting called out by these fucking cards, man. <laughs> uh, love it, bro. But yeah, she definitely yeah, had. She, uh, she definitely had. Yeah, she 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 had good vibes, positive vibes, man. And she was very professional about it, and that was good, man. That was actually real good. Yeah. I was not expecting that. Yeah, um, it was it was a lot more uh, relieving, more than like like I guess like uh, like stressful in a way, and like uh, hey man, this is your life and you're gonna fuck up in life, dude, kind of thing. You know, it's more uh, uplifting. So yeah, definitely like yeah. like the the pod today. Yeah. But yeah, any any questions, guys? You guys have any uh, any thoughts on what went on today? I know um, it was kind of a uh, a different uh podcast today um but uh but peter did you resonate with anything on it probably pro- probably the uh the, the talent part coming out of the you know it, it wasn't coming out of the closet it was like the cat i think there was two cards actually uh, about that right yeah i forgot what well when i when i edited it i'll, I'll know i know one was the the cat out of the bag and then the other one is it was something like that too but I think that that one was just like me being afraid of um, just saying what I want to say. And then I think that's that's that resonated with me, like our cancel series. I'm just so scared to get canceled by, you know, nobody. And then uh, mainly that really. If you guys want to know my dick size, go on the Patreon. <laughs> 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 Mine's too. <laughs> uh, oh man, that was good. But um, but that that was good, man. Uh, I think I thought uh some of it really resonated with you as well. I, like I thought about oh shit, you know. I think um, I think one of the cards was uh yeah, letting out the, the secret, the talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that one. You know? That's what that was. Uh, yeah. I was like, I was like, oh shit. I definitely I thought of you too. I was like, oh dang, okay, cool, cool. Um, I think. The car, I think the cars are pretty accurate. I'm not sure if it's just like so general, but like every car is gonna hit you, you know. But it definitely hit every car did hit me in in certain ways, you know. And and yeah, it, Indonesia chick man, I'm telling you, we got first a, card. We, we got a yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> first card, the first card, dude. Like relationship. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's called. I looked at I looked at name. the uh I looked at the uh uh what is it the uh, live stream I was like just one eye that means it's just you and me dog <laughs> <laughs> I was like that card talking about you or me but I'm married it's you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dog that was wild bro that was such a wild experience that was cool man that was such a good yeah, cool yeah I, I liked how it, it was just kind of like the only card too you know it was just kind of okay that makes kind of <sighs> sense because we know we not we not we not simps here we're not in a simp city <laughs> you know what i'm saying we're here to focus on a career and in our lifestyle and that card came up and was like, damn oh, man. <laughs> uh victor, victor said y'all ain't ready for a relationship victor you right man you're right. That's is why it, the cause is like, nah, don't get into a relationship. That's what uh, the cause is saying. That's funny, dog. Oh, man. Man, I was, I was hoping for uh, people to ask some questions, man, but I didn't get no questions. Pagu was saying, uh, 
pick a card for me. <laughs> yeah, damn man. Um, yeah. I think I think because it was so general, like we couldn't really even like you know pick a, a specific moment to yeah. to ask about really, right? Yeah, I think that could have been a, a another session. Um, oh, that went by so quick, man. It's it's already nine thirty, dude. Yeah, it, 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 it did go by pretty quick. Yeah. Damn. That was uh, fun, man. It was yeah. uh, it was different. It was different. Um, if you guys really like these uh, guests that comes in, um, you know, feel free to uh, you know let us know so we could put in and give you guys more guesses. And um, yeah, request request the guests, man. I think that'd be yeah, yeah, too. yeah. Hey, do you guys want David Yang on here? Yeah. Let's get David Yang. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot David Yang a, a DM and see if he wants to get on. <laughs> oh, dog. So on kick, right? Victor's on kick. <laughs> he has. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see. He said. Uh, okay. We love you, Victor. One, one of his questions was, "Should I buy SPX calls tomorrow?" Give <laughs> uh, oh, it all, man. Give it all. That's hilarious, dude. God damn. My bad, Victor. Victor. I didn't see that. I didn't see that uh, the chat. I didn't pull it. I didn't have it pulled up. I had the other one. Dude, that audio. I don't know what the hell. What the hell happened to the audio, man? You know, I, I press something. Love you, Victor. Victor's then, been uh, been on for for a while, and he's been one of our top commenter. Oh yeah. Shout out to Victor. Shout out to Victor. All right, dude. Uh, any last words, man? Yeah, um, let's go pack. Oh, what are, what are they pack now? The where, where are they at now? Damn, I don't want to look at it right now, bro. I'll, I'll look at that for us. Lions versus Packers. All right, Lions, let's Detroit, uh, uh, Green Bay, Green Bay. So they're at the third quarter now. It's about to end in like 50 seconds. Green Bay Packers is at 11 points. Okay. Detroit Lions, 27. Dude. Let's go, Lions. Let's go. It's not looking good. It's not Ooh. looking good at all. Man. My Lions. Interesting. Try to figure out uh, technical difficulty for you guys' hand. Guys. Yeah, man, we always try to figure it out, the audio, but this is one of those times that, like, you know, we're just going to get better every time. You know, we that's actually one of our biggest... Um, flaws is is the the audio. We had to throw in away a uh, a couple of podcasts is because of the audio, and you know that's that's uh off uh, our side to uh, you know double check the audio, and you know of course we have you guys to help us out too and letting letting us know. We appreciate you guys. And uh, other than that, dude, like I'll see you guys uh, next Thursday. Yeah? yeah. Next Thursday, guys. Bye, Victor. Peace out. Voila!